Hi gang, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Ed Makes, and in this episode I'm going to be making a mini terrarium rock garden that doesn't need any watering. So if you have a friend, or if you're kind of like me in some ways, <laughs> uh, I can keep most plants alive, but moss and stuff like that, it's kind of hard for me to keep alive, because it requires some pretty special conditions. So at the Dollar Tree, they have this dried moss, it's colored green, so it always looks like it's alive, but it's just, it's basically dead. <laughs> And uh, you can throw that in one of those fish bowls that you can find there as well with some rocks, a little bit of sand. And you have this, it looks alive. You can put it on your desk or uh, put it on the bookcase and just liven things up a little bit and you don't have to water it or nothing like that. So it's really easy to assemble. You can see that here in this video. And I had some amethysts I put down in mine. And that's kind of why I created this, is because I have a bunch of rocks that I've collected from various places that I've been, and I wanted to have something to put them in that looked nice, besides just like a, a knick-knack shelf or whatever, if people have those, and that's a thing. So I decided I'd make my own little knick-knack fish bowl, and I want it to look alive, so I put some of this botanical moss that you can get at the Dollar Tree. So this whole project here, for a couple of them, uh, because you have to buy a lot of sand, you know, I didn't use all my sand, I didn't use all my rocks in that, but it, you could probably make four or five of these. So under $20, you could have a half dozen of these easily, and you can give them out as gifts or just put them all over the place, whatever you want to do. So the first one is a smaller version. I went ahead and made a larger version because I had some other rocks and I wanted to put some sticks and things in there. So I go ahead and show you how to do that here. It's pretty much the same process layer the sand and uh, I like the big the dark colored stones against the white sand I thought that looked really nice in the bottom versus the last one that had the black and white sand mixed together it just didn't it didn't kind of flow the way that I was expecting it to um, I hope that's not a trigger warning <laughs> but this one did I like uh, it looks like a little beach and there's some chips of opal stone that somebody gave me and an amethyst that I bought at the rock store downtown and yeah I think it turned out really well so easy to do it just takes just a few minutes really this project took as long as this video is to to do just have the things together plunk them down in there I just wanted to make one after the other because it was so much fun and they really look nice too and you can put a light on top get that at the Dollar Tree too and some batteries $20 you have lots of gifts for everybody so I hope you've enjoyed this video you're gonna give that a try and let me know what you think uh, leave a comment you know all the stuff do that if you like if not doesn't matter but uh, what does matter is I'll see you next time until then take care